Welcome back students. Today we are going to see math functions in Java. We know how to solve a simple mathematical expression using variables, constant and operators. But to solve mathematical expressions with powers, square roots etc. We need some special functions. Java provides math class with many mathematical functions. This math function is available in java.lang package. You know lang package is default package which we don't need to import. Let us see the math functions available in Java. Syntax of math function is like this math dot that is m is in capital dot function name the name of the function available in Java then in the bracket we give the argument list otherwise a single argument to find the power of any number we have pow of x comma y so x and y is arguments here y is raised to the power x so for example we may have math dot pow of 5 comma 2 25.0 most of the math functions return double type output Next we have sqrt of any argument. This will give the square root of a number. Example here math dot sqrt of 36. This will return 6.0. Next we have seal of a number. This method helps to round up the decimal number to a integer value but gives the output as double value for example we have 312.34 this will round to the next higher value of integer maybe here 1 or 3 or 8 whatever it is that is lesser than 5 or more than 5 that doesn't matter this will round up so we will have 313 as the output next we have floor of a number this will round down a decimal number though the decimal point has five or more than that it will not consider it will only round down so that means the decimal number completely left and then it becomes only 45 here another one we have here rint of a number this will round as per mathematical rule so here we have 91.56 if it is 5 or more than 5 it will round up otherwise it will round down so here as per mathematical rule we have 92 as output next we have abs of x so this is the absolute value absolute value is the position of a number either left side or right side of the zero in the number line for example if we have a number line like this zero is in middle right side we will have all positive numbers in left side all negative numbers if we take minus 3 as a number absolute value of this is 3 that is counted only the position of the number it doesn't matter whether in negative side or positive side so absolute value of minus 3 becomes 3 in mathematics we have two vertical lines like this to mention the absolute value if we take 1 then we will have absolute value of 1 is 1 itself this function will help us to convert negative value into positive value for example if we have minus 72.3 this will become 72.3 Next we have max of two arguments here. This will return the greater value of the given two number. For example, we have 5.6 and 7.2. The greater value is 7.2. This get returned. Next we have min of two arguments. This will return the smaller value. Here this will return 8. 26. 
next we have exp of x this will give the result of x raised to the power e for example we have math dot exp of 5 next we have log of x this will give logarithmic value of x next we have sine of x this will return sine value of x and then cos cos value of x and then tan tan value of x next we have random of this will not take any argument but it will return any random number with double type now let us test these mathematical functions through a program program to test math functions import java.io.star class math class Let us declare the variables we should have throws io exception prompting the user so a is equal to double dot parse double of br dot read line of let me copy these two lines power here it is b so let me have one more variable called just c so we are going to do c is equal to math dot pow of a comma b let us print this simply I give power because that is C let me also have the square root without variable directly let me print So that is directly I am going to write the function here math dot sqrt of let me have a itself compile this enter the base I say 25 to the power 2 so 25 to the power 2 is 625 square root of 25 is 5 now let us write the code to round off the numbers enter decimal number so here a is going to be a decimal number let me remove this let me remove this also now b is equal to math dot seal of a then c is equal to math dot floor of 
a then let me have one more value that is d d is equal to math dot print of a so i will have here three printing statements first will print this is seal so up it is round up round up so what it will print it is b then here round down it is c as per mathematical rules this is d so let me compile this i am giving here 5.6 now when it rounds using seal function it will round up so 6.0 if it is floor function though it is more than 0.5 it will round to the down value that is 5 will remain this is neglected as per mathematics as this is more than 0.5 it will round up that will become 6 let us have one more example with lesser decimal place I give here now 8.03 see round up though it is 0 0.03 it is going to the next higher value round down is 8 as per mathematical rule it is 8 now let us test for maximum and minimum function we need two input so let us take from the user this will be b math dot maximum of m a x of a comma b and then here minimum of m i n of a comma b so here let us have maximum that is c minimum of given to is d here let us also have the absolute value here so absolute value of let us have b math dot abs of b so we will give negative value for b Two point three two. Another number four, sorry, minus four point one. So maximum is two point three two. So this is positive number. This is negative number. So this is lesser than this. Minimum is minus four point one. The absolute value of B is four point one. So this negative value converted into positive value. With this, let us also create a random number. Double r is equal to math dot random of system dot out dot print line of r. Let us compile this. See, it returned the greater number, the smaller number, absolute value of 63.01 is 63 itself. So, this is the second number we have taken for absolute value. And then 
random number is created dear students i hope this is very clear to you how to use math functions in java program in next video tutorial i will teach you how to write java statements to given mathematical expressions until then thank you students